This is the current horn. Mm -hmm. That's a 36 flood. Horn. Horns means tradition. Mr. Fair. I mean, your displays are very boring. Are you a critic? No, I'm a window dresser. Well, you've got guts, young lady. Okay, I'll give you a window. One window. If I like what I see... You will. Then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yes, yes. Good luck. Oh, thank you. That's the doggiest merchandise you ever saw. Lionel, how do you find anything in here? Oh, I don't. I just asked Nan. Who's Nan? Nan. She's the other person nobody wants to work with. Oh. <laughs> Can I help you? What do you think? Hmm. I'd wear it. <laughs> Nan? What? What do you think? You want my opinion? Well, you're one of us, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, it's, uh, very revealing. It's very old-fashioned, too. You don't mean outside, outside. Oh, yeah. Outside. Mm -hmm. Outside. Mm -hmm. This is Froggy. <laughs> I can see where she got her name.
Alicia. Kacha, kacha, You are not going to believe this. It is outrageous. Oh, I love this hair. It's luscious. Oh, Let's look go. Come on. Oh, there's Mrs. Thayer. Ugh. And Mr. Thayer. You can do it. You can do it. Go get him. Baird. That's quite a scene. Not what I expected. Charles, you have to take down that window. It's in the worst possible taste. Why? It's obscene. Elizabeth. I am serious. It's a terrible reflection on the store. You mean it's a terrible reflection on you? Well, have you any idea what our friends are going to say? Well, I know what your friends are going to say. Oh, by the way, I don't think you two have met. This is Katya Yarnu. Oh, my wife, hi. Elizabeth. Pleased to meet you. Contract. You are? Yes. You are? Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Somebody followed you home. What? Yeah, three black guys. Don't worry, though. They're gone now. Who is this? Somebody who's on the same track as you. If you know what I mean. Hey, I saw you. I saw these guys. Wasn't hard to figure out what was on their mind. Anyway, they're gone now. So, uh... Katya? Stay on track. You can see her crotch. You can see her crotch. Hey. What is your problem? Hey, it's sick. That's the problem. Gotta lock her up and throw away the key. Maybe you're missing the point. Like hell I am. You know, there are kids that walk by here. I'm Mac O'Dell, Pittsburgh Magazine. My office called you. You don't mind having people watch your work? No, I like it. I feed off their reactions, and then they feed off my displays. It helps bring every window to life. It's a converted railway station. I think you'll like it. Definitely quaint. Ideas. Everywhere. You see a girl bend over to pick up a glass, and the way her pearls will sway will just click to me. Uh, getting better all the time. <laughs> Could I call you? Yeah. My number's listed. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hi, it's Mac. Hi. I just, um, making sure you got home all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Good night. Good night. Katya. Hi. <laughs> Maybe you should find out who you're talking to first. Who is this? You know, I know exactly what you're doing in those windows. You're telling people, cut through the bullshit. You're the one who called me before, aren't you? Truth really is stranger than fiction, right? Listen, it's really late, you know? People don't want to know the truth. Not about themselves. I tease them. You 
turn them on. You grab them by the balls and squeeze. <laughs> I love it. It's great. We see it the same way. What is it you want? I want the grand tour, baby. You don't get too excited. I'm house sitting. For the night? For the whole summer. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Excuse you. This is great. Uh, if I'm not careful, I could get serious about you. Make a phone call, huh? Help daddy make a phone call on your little phone here, just like daddy. See how well you know these numbers, huh? Okay. Now we're gonna do five, five, five. Okay. Five, five. Hello? Buttercup. Daddy! <laughs> no, but close. You. After school, you'd go to the one drugstore in town with all the glamour magazines. You sit there for hours, looking at all those pictures of fancy dressed people. And you pretend that you were one of them. You escape from that small little town, and all those small little minds. Yeah. Who's that? Chelsea. You stay there with Daddy. I'll make you two something to eat, OK, sweetheart? Chelsea, come here. Hello. Daddy? Katya? Hey, what's up, Buttercup? Nothing. I'm, I'm just calling to see how everything is. Oh, your mother has a cold. Nothing serious, but you know how she is. Daddy, has anybody unusual asked about me? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Uh, by the way, did you get my letter? What letter? I mailed it Wednesday. You ought to have it by now. Oh, well, it's the mails. You know how that is. I love you, Daddy. Tell Mama she's in my prayers, OK? He likes it. I think he likes it. Come on, smile. He likes it. <laughs> Found it yet? Open your purse. Go on, open it. It's your favorite kind. Listen, you bastard, you better stop calling me! Every time she saw the way that your father looked at you. Stop it! So we're gonna leave him in the window forever. You need to be pushed. That's why you love it so much from behind. Ladies and gentlemen, employees of Horns. For those of you who don't know me, if that's possible, I'm Charles Thayer. 
Please, please, I'm the one who should be applauding. A new member of our family of employees, Miss Katya Yarno. There she is back there. Congratulations, Katya. And now, let's have a party. And finally, a smile. Oh, my mother of pearls. What happened to you? Do I look OK? You look great. Hey, look, this guy is harmless. He's just some poor slob who hasn't got anything better to do. This guy is different. Want some wine? Yeah. 